Yeah. So basically, these are foods that are rich in carbohydrates, mm. basically, and they are. We have a variety of them, which are produced locally. We also have the ones that are produced internationally. Mm. But these grains, um, when we come, basically, they are most of them are underrated in terms of their nutritional. Um, value. value or the contents. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I think today's um, topic or discussion would go along with the mm. a lot of people. Mm. So these grains are rich in carbohydrate, carbohydrate that's the main source. Mm -hmm. um, and then it follows with fiber. Okay. And this fiber um, helps a lot of um, disease conditions mm -hmm. because with this fiber, it helps to break down most of the nutrients, helps with digestion, helps with cardiovascular conditions. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the, this is the most important part of the green that are stripped off, which when we come to processed carbohydrates uh, or refined carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to the green, we have the refined, we have the unrefined, unrefined. we have the complex, we have the simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with the healthy one, that's why you all hear whole grain. Yes, whole so the whole grain are the everything. healthiest, has everything. Yes. Plus the fiber. Exactly, okay. exactly. So that is what we will focus on, mm. not the refined, because mm. we have a lot of grains out there that we processed and um, where the nutritive parts have been taken out. Mm -hmm. With that, we wouldn't advise people to go in there. But the locally produced ones are the whole grains. And uh, you see, in Ghana, we don't really process our grains. Mm -hmm. And so we get to have the nutritive content. Mm. You get to have the fiber, you get to have some minerals in there and some vitamins in there. So our locally produced um, grains are very rich in nutrients and so yeah. it shouldn't be underrated. Okay. What are, we have maize or corn, um, we have wheat, we have millet, we have sorghum, um, we have rye, we have belly, we have oats. Um, so a whole range um, of these grains mm. are there. However, Globally, maize. Rice is also a green. Isn't yes, it? Rice. Yeah, rice. Rice is also a green. But we have white rice and mm -hmm. we have brown mm -hmm. rice. Mm -hmm. So the white rice have the nutritive content which is straight up. But the brown rice or even our local rice mm -hmm. um, have not gone to that process where the nutritive content has been taken out. Mm -hmm. And so we encourage that we take we eat our More local, local rice, rice yeah. even though it's white, mm -hmm. but it has the fiber content in there. Okay. And so we encourage that we eat our locally mm -hmm. produced rice right. compared to the refined ones or the perfumed ones that um, are coming in. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, but um, as a dietitian, you would realize that people normally prefer the the refined rice. Exactly. Just because it comes from somewhere. Yes. Like, for me, like I don't really like rice. I like brown rice, oh, right? That's weird. And I also like the local one. Exactly. But people look at me like, hmm, yeah. why, why the local one, <laughs> though? You know? Yeah. But why do you think people actually prefer those ones? And like you were saying that yeah. ours have the um, um, better nutritional value than the other one, but exactly. I don't know. Like, yes, I think it boils down to the affordability, um, the availability, and also the knowledge people have about it. Uh, we've come to meet the perfumed ones which are available yeah. in terms of accessibility. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but when it comes to the locally produced one, it's very hard for it to come by, especially in, especially in the brown rice. Yes. Some people even would tell you they've not even set their eyes on the brown right. rice. Before, yeah. Yes, unless they go to you the market. So we need to make um, these healthy greens available. And usually they are produced in the north, the northern parts of the country. That's how you get most of our greens. The millet especially. Among all these greens, the most nutritive one is the millet. It, its fiber content is very high. Hi. Its protein content is also high. Sorghum is also another one. Okay. Which, which these cereals can add with processed corn. Okay, so those are cereals. Okay, let, sorry. Yeah. The greens. <laughs> I'm also <laughs> affecting with the greens. <laughs> yes, so the greens, okay, you can process in the form of flour or dough. So whichever form you use maize or corn for, so like corn dough, KK, mm -hmm. banku, mm -hmm. porridge, mm -hmm. millet or sorghum can, or also can equally also be used for mm -hmm. these, for your kinke, for your banku, okay. for your porridges. Okay. And so we need to diversify mm -hmm. our meals in okay. terms of these grains. Yeah. We need to exploit the other grains because they, they, they play the same role because they're in the same family. And so if your corn can be used for banku, exactly the millet or the sorghum can equally be used for the banku, mm. but which they are, their nutritive content are higher compared to even the corn. Right. And because the corn or the maize is widely known, it's widely produced, it's in abundance. And yeah. so we go in for that, leaving the other bit. So what about phonium? And so it's about time we try to patronize them 
go and transport them down here because you going there for it is a problem. And so if the government can help transport it down here, it will help a lot of us because most of the population are in the central part of the country. And so transportation is very important, affordability and availability. That's the way. So if the, the grain is not available, you can't blame them right. for not eating it. Yeah. So you need to make it's them just there. Exactly, exactly. So you need to make them available so that majority of the population can enjoy the country. Yes. Hold on, Tom Brown is a mix of... Yes, Tom Brown is a mix of that legumes and grains. Oh. So we have in corn, we have in rice, we have in wheat, we have in millet, oh. we have in grain. I just drink beans. it, I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, yes. So that is one of the way we can combine these cereals, where because each of them has the level of which the nutrients are in. They, despite they are all rich in minerals, rich in vitamins, and the a fiber content right. it varies in terms of the amount found in each and so when you mix them you complement they complement each other so if magnesium is higher a little bit in millet but protein is higher in um, sodium yeah. you combine then you help have that balance of the nutrients in there and then that also helps it, it brings a different taste as well yeah, yeah so you don't down to the degree of the temperature being applied However, the nutrients found in the because of the, the, the protective layer, that is the fiber, the fiber of nature, it's very hard for some of these nutrients to be deleted so easily unless they, they are being stripped off. They strip off the fiber. the fiber, then you expose or you, you, you make these nutrients um, very, it's like as you expose them, or you make them very easily to be uh, assessed or easily to be damaged. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you get my point. So we, we, we know we have roasted corn, mm -hmm. we have roasted millet. Yeah. yeah, the nutrients are still intact in the But it depends on the temperature. If it's, it's they are exposed to higher temperatures, I, I, of course they will be getting to a point where they will get burnt. And the burnt food always I don't have any nutrient content in yeah. them. Yeah. And so if you have a roasted corn that is very burnt, yeah. or the processing which is being used, it's, the temperature is very high. Of course, it deletes most of the yeah. right. nutritive content. So we need to be very so, careful about it. I'm asking this temperature. question because there are people who are working on the love country. <laughs> so I have to ask the question. Yes, yes, people yes. People love country. It's exactly. Like, it's like the plain rice is there. Mm -hmm. That's not the one they are fighting for. Mm -hmm. They are fighting for the one that is bent and then I'm exactly. like, oh, why? No, so why? I, I think why? we should ask the question, well, is there any nutritional value in cancer? <laughs> there, is, there is no nutritional value in cancer. Like, I can actually go to my chest on that. But, there is a big but. The cancer should be black, not black. Right. The moment it gets blackened, it's a problem. Then it's useless. But if the council is brown, we still have some little of the nutrients. That's it, it's trying to. Yeah. Exactly. Or yeah. whitish, brown, yeah. 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 Then we are safe. But, but I, I have one question. So, as a dietitian, obviously, you, you deal with different sorts of diets, and then every day a new diet erupts. Mm -hmm. If it's not the vegan diet, is that a diet? Is this exactly. diet? <laughs> like, there are so many diets exactly. this day. So, um, is there a possibility, or are there diets that are just basically um, grain and 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 what cereals? Yes, especially the the especially when you go to vegetarians, mm -hmm. the vegans, because they are mostly uh, focusing on plants. plants. Yeah. And these grains are plant based. Mm. And so if if you are uh, if you are vegetarian, uh, you don't necessarily have to only feed on vegetables mm. because you need some amount of complex carbohydrate are found in this grain okay. so it will pro uh, supply your body with the energy that the body needs for that body fast so mostly the vegans utilize these grains yeah. however if you are not a vegan or you're not a vegetarian you equally have to explore these grains as well yes yeah, so yeah. well great conversation um how do people find out more from you yeah. if you want to reach out to your social media yeah so i'm, I'm on all social media handles on youtube 